the time it takes me to wash the dishes is uniformly distributed between 7 minutes and 15 minutes. What is the probability that washing dishes tonight will take me between 11 and 12 minutes? Give your answer accurate to two decimal places. So a few keywords that popped out at me as I was reading this. Let's start highlighting a few things like the word uniformly distributed. That means that we can use a rectangle or rectangular um, probability distribution function to answer the question. Also, another thing that popped out at me is that they're asking what is the probability. And probability implies that we're looking for an area in our rectangular uniform probability distribution graph. So what I need to do is make my um, xy uh, axes. Let's uh, try that again. I need to be a little straighter. Okay. And we'll have x, which is the time it takes me to wash the dishes. That's our variable here, our random variable. And on the vertical axis is our probability of any one of those times that it might take me. And it's uniformly distributed, which means that it's just straight across for all values of x, the probability function. And I'm trying to draw straight, but because I have my monitor up and it's slippery, I'm having a hard time. There we go. Pretend that's a nice, pretty rectangular shape, all right? And it says that x ranges, it's distributed between 7 minutes and 15 minutes. So I can say that, um, let's draw a little squiggly line here to show that it's not starting at 0. And we'll actually have it starting at 7. So we'll just, the squiggly line just means that there's a gap there. And it's not to scale, but we're going from 7 minutes up to 15 minutes, all right? So remember, when you shade in underneath the density curve, that whole shaded region is altogether an area of 1. It, it covers all the possible numbers of minutes it could take me to wash the dishes. But that's not what we're interested in, although we use it to figure out what the height of our rectangular, rectangular region is. Because if the range down here is, let's see, 15 minus 7, 8 units. And I need this rectangle to have an area of 1. And you remember area on a rectangle is base times height. Well, the only thing that I'm going to multiply 8 times to get 1 is its reciprocal 1 8th. So that's the probability height. Now, once I have that sketched out, I can get rid of the shading because I'm not really interested in the area under the entire, uh, uh, the area of the entire large rectangle. I'm interested in, in the area of a smaller part of the rectangle. And that is down here because it says, what is the probability that washing dishes tonight will take me between 11 and 12 minutes? So I'm just going to sketch in 11 and 12. And that means I'm looking for this rectangular area to find the probability. Remember, area equals probability, probability equals area as we're working on these types of problems. So. Now I need the area of this rectangle. So what is the base of that rectangle? So the base here, or the width, you could say, has a distance of 12 minus 11, so it's 1. And what is the height of the rectangle? It's 1 8th. So 1 times 1 8th will give me the area of that region. And so my answer is 1 8th. And then we just round that to two decimal places. So 1 divided by 8 is 0.125, so we're going to round it to 